So here I have my Defender TRX4. As you can see, it's on 2.2 Proline Hyrax with 2.2 rims. And I'm just going to guide you through what I've done to make it this high and look this good. I'm just going to pop the shelf. Disconnect all my lights and stuff. As you can see, I've got a full hobby wing axe set up, all brand new, not been used yet. I have this all in my sport as well. It's absolutely amazing as it just pulls through everything. But what I've done to make mine so high is I also wound my spring turret all the way down, so nearly to the bottom, so it gives it maximum twist. And also, I've flipped my front and rear bumpers. So basically, that is the front bumper mount on the back flipped upside down and what that one there is the rear bumper mount flipped upside down with 60 grams of weight giving you the height of the bumpers also got a 20 kg steering servo in this one due to the size of the wheels and also i'm running a power plant lipo 3s lipo 5000 milliamp to go to make the hobby wing perfect also a cell module but to really get the body up as high as you can it needs to be completely onto the last setting on the rear and also on the last setting for the front. This makes the body sit perfect. The only thing I am doing is I'm going to make these into metal ones so I can make these so they sit flush for the bottom of the body. And like I said, also on my TRX4 Defender, I have added wheel spacers to count rack for the height. Also, this has made this so much more stable to, due to going out at least 35mm in scale wise on a proper four wheel drive. So like I said, all I've done is I've just wound the shock turret down and it achieves all its maximum twist. And also with the 2.2s, I've actually had to cut a tiny bit out of the foot plate on both sides. But other than that, that's all I've had to do. Anyway, I hope this helps you guys. Thank you very much.